Do you think the people of Paris take climate change seriously? I think it's 50-50. So I'm one of the finalists and a winner of the Astral Prize for Clean Air. Hello everyone, I'm Valentine Delattre. I'm a science journalist and the creator of the YouTube channel Science de Comptoir. And as you might have guessed from my accent, I'm French. We're here today in the very heart of Paris to uncover the power of innovation and to find solutions to climate change one step at a time. Climate change is one of the most pressing challenges we face today, but we believe that optimism in action can make a difference. We'll be heading to Change Now, an event which takes place not in Las Vegas, as we could have thought, but in Paris, where the best and brightest minds are gathering together to make things happen. We'll be meeting some of the incredible Earthshot finalists who are here to share their very own inspirational initiatives. Our main mission is to restore what we call the forgotten forest of seaweed. We use recycled metal to manufacture improved cookstoves. First, let's hit the streets of Paris and hear from its lovely residents what they think about the climate crisis. Do you think the people of Paris take climate change seriously? I think it's 50-50. Why? Like, the people that take it seriously are people my age, so around 18 to 25. But the, the seniors, I don't think they're interested. They don't really care because they're not going to be here in the future and it's going to impact only us. Who do you think is most responsible for fixing the climate crisis? I think it's uh, coming from people, actually. We are all on the same boat. It comes from politics, it comes from companies, it comes from citizens. The change will be effective if all of that together act towards uh, limiting climate change. To me, uh, the most powerful people to change it is obviously the governments and the big corporation, but we all have to work together. Us, as a citizen, we need to push for different law. The way we consume things are going to make corporation produce differently. Now let's head back to change now and meet our finalists. We're going to meet Jan, from Sea Foresta and Charlotte from Akuru. My name is Jan Fabik. I'm the scientific manager at Sea Foresta. At Sea Foresta, uh, the main thing, our main mission is to restore what we call the forgotten forest of seaweed in the ocean. The green gravel technique was initially developed by our scientific partners in, in Norway. You just have very, a normal stone, you seed it with seaweed spores, you grow them out under adequate conditions and then you can simply deploy them uh, in the sea from a boat. There they continue to grow, they attach to the seafloor, create a new seaweed forest and then hopefully attracts back the biodiversity that was in those areas before. The main success story we had now in our research trials initially in Portugal is that we, we had a proof of concept that the technique definitely works. So now we again, uh, gained a lot of support from a uh, municipality in Cascais that have been with us from pretty much the beginning. We also have larger corporations now that are starting to uh, fund us because they are understanding uh, that more seaweed in the ocean means more fish, it means more of the resources that these corporations are actually using. Uh, so there is quite a momentum at the moment uh, for us to, to grow and get visibility and partners. Charlotte Magai. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm the founder of Mukuru Clean Stoves and what we do is we use recycled metal to manufacture improved cook stoves and then we partner with local women business owners to distribute them to the last mile. So I'm one of the finalists and a winner of the Astral Prize for Clean Air. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> One of the most significant positive impact that Mukuru has within, within these communities is it reduces household air pollution by up to 90% when you use the right fuel. Um, it reduces fuel consumption costs by up to 60%. And so families are able to make savings of $2 every single week when they use our stoves. So in the upcoming years, within the next five to seven years, we want to reach 10 million households with our Mukuru stoves. But then we also have a new patent pending malaria fighting briquette um, that is still in R&D, but we're hoping to distribute that across 10 million households um, along with the stoves within the next 10 years.
ChangeNow is a platform that showcases the power of innovation and science in shaping sustainable solutions. It's incredible to be witnessing the groundbreaking initiatives and technologies being presented here and especially by our finalists. But it doesn't end there. We want to empower you with actionable tips and lifestyle changes that you can incorporate into your daily lives towards a more sustainable future. From reducing plastic waste to conserving energy and supporting renewable sources, together we can make a difference. Let's take action and create a better world. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey through Paris. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this episode to raise awareness on climate change and inspire others to take action. Together, we can be the change we want to see in the world.